In this video, I want to cover one of the best upgrades I did for my Can-Am Spider, the Cannonball Seat. At the end of the video, I will list details of this seat and others I talk about, and have a link to my video on how to install the seats as well. I will also leave details in the description below with information on where to get yours and links to the websites. Now, I'll try to cover everything I can, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Now, sit back and enjoy this week's video on the Cannonball Seat. Now before talking about the cannonball seat, I want to say that the factory seat for the Spider is well made, and for the driver it is comfortable. The main reason I bought it was to improve the ride for my wife when she rode with me. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have bought a cannonball seat or another seat at all. But with that said, when I got my cannonball seat, the improvement it made for my ride as well was unexpected. Now I looked at several seats before going with the cannonball seat, and it was actually a hard decision to pick which one I wanted. My main goal was to improve the ride for my wife, and at the same time keep from making my bike look stupid or non-sporty. I had narrowed the decision down to three seats, and that is how I want to talk about the Cannonball seat, is in the order of selection. Starting with my third place was the Mustang seat. Now if you know anything about me, you know I'll try and support local businesses and American-made products as much as I possibly can. That was one of the main reasons that the Mustang seat was in my top three picks. They have a good reputation, and it is a nice product. It does have good cushioning, but wasn't the seat I was looking for. My second choice was the ultimate seat from Sling Mods. I've actually seen this seat in person, and it looks better in person than it does in pictures. It had a lot of cushioning and a unique design that I think would have looked great on my bike as standing out among others. The padding was the best of all three as well, and the looks were great. Ultimately, I chose the Cannonball seat. Not only was the pricing good, but the one main factor is that it was a two-part seat and the others were one solid seat that could not separate. This allowed the options of removing the passenger seat and adding aftermarket parts using a variety of different backrests, uh, driver backrests as well, easy access to the rear of the bike without removing the whole seat, and more. Also with the Cannonball seat, I was able to use the BRP passenger backrest that I already had without modifying the bike any. The Cannonball seat is made of good material that is somewhat water repellent, very good stitching, maintains the sporty look of the bike, and padding is better and more comfortable than the factories. For these reasons, I recommend choosing the Cannonball seat as an upgrade, or at least considering it when you improve yours. The Cannonball seat is custom made for the can Spider and improves on the comfort and the looks of the bike. It allows you to keep the overall appearance of the bike the same, but add just enough style to make it unique. Because it stays close to the original seat configuration, you are able to use the Can-Am passenger backrest with no issue or modifications. Both the driver and passenger seat form around the back of both riders, creating a more comfortable riding position. This supports the tailbone area better than the factory seat, allowing for longer ride times. The Cannonball seat forms perfectly around the backrest as well, if added, leaving a little gap between the seat and backrest for more comfort. The overall stitching, materials, cushioning, and shape give your spider a more custom look than the factory seat setting it apart from others. The seat does a good job of not taking away from the sporty look of the F3s. For the passenger, it is a huge step up from the factory seat. More cushioning and a shape that makes you feel more secure when seated allows for your passenger to enjoy the ride better. Because the seat raises your passenger up a little more from factory, they will have a better seat positioning than previously. Their legs are more extended and the seat does offer more room when seated. The passenger being raised above the driver not only allows for more room, but also helps prevent the headbutt that is common with the factory seat. The higher position also gives the passenger more view of the surroundings and makes the ride more enjoyable than having a view of the back of a helmet all the time. 